yesterday started to manipulate uh, some of the plumbing that will attach to this jet heater and I discovered that I was removing a lot of material that I had sort of previously laid to get the pattern of a brick platform which I will then uh, probably dismantle almost entirely and reassemble with mortar and do a little bit of grade work on them as I go along. But the struggle seemed to be last night that I was increasing the elevation by three bricks from um, the platform that had been constructed to manage the pipe up underneath the drum. And of course YouTube came in handy this morning where I see that the wisdom of uh, drilling, uh, that is sawing a hole on the side of the drum and bringing it back down a couple of brick layers at least uh, 8 inches is the diameter on this ducting so I can set it back down to uh, the original level or someone else has suggested when you get just so high it begins to be a, uh, an awkward place to cook or to do anything atop the stove so I'm going to take uh, take that trouble to uh, make a hole for that 8 inch duct to penetrate the side of the drum in lieu of making much progress yesterday it happened several years ago that I acquired a bunch of these glass panels from the Seattle bus system. They are used in the kiosks where folks would sit and wait for a bus but they have been somehow slightly marred or vandalized and uh, those that are decorated so to speak look like mountains or water something that would be seen in the Pacific Northwest and then others of them that are clear that I'm adding as part of the biomass uh, heat retention of this entire system. I expect to see um, other biomass accumulated here. The effect of of this biomass tunnel will be to encircle entirely this IBC tank and uh, to of course retain heat off of the uh, heating system. Yesterday I was of a mind to have the burn area here, the beginning of the tunnel, that sort of puts it out here in the room. I just may move it into this narrower spot on the north side of this whole situation. So, in the distance is a sump tank for the aquaponic system, which will also be served by this larger tank, all of it heated by the jet heater greenhouse is uh, uh, still in a mess. I had fun in here this summer but most things of course have been harvested out and the skin is on its way. We ordered it uh, almost two weeks ago already from uh, Northwest Greenhouse Supply. We have not heard as rapidly from them except to say thank you for your online order. Uh, I've also Accumulated. I'm going to back out of here comfortably until I can make a turn and show this this biomass of brick that came free off of Craigslist. It is the the poor man's brick. One can see the sandy white particles of a cheap kind of rock clay that have a slip coat of bake clay on the outside of them. That that isn't that is mortar on that one. But this is not mortar. Uh eh, take it back, that is some mortar. Anyway it's a it's a cheap clay with a, a white sand in it. As I've done some reading about them, it it will serve the purpose certainly. Those are all halves and uh, thirds and three quarters and uh, I have found that it it does chip off pretty easily uh, those that had some mortar on them and, and that will I'm going to put that through the post pounder I've got a, a fence post pounding device so I'm going to smash that up and use it for 
uh, used it over again. So nothing's going to waste in this project, uh, except a little time. It was raining this morning, and this is the first that I've been able to come out to it. Greenhouse jet heater underway. Enjoy your day. This is Old and Found. Bye-bye.